welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John Lester Portis for the 15th of October. Market has just closed, and we talked about this, uh, the video report, where above the 38% presumed long and definitely above the uh, 73 level, uh, which is where uh, institutional guys would look, and that clicked in the buy programs, and it was off. And that happened even in the pre-market, the Asian uh, open, and that was because we started off with uh, magenta over the white, um, and as well, uh, rising yellow. And you can see shorts well below the zero here on the DOC cyan and uh, spike up of short term buyers, mid term buyers, all it took. Orange completely dipping below uh, red DOC, all those things converging into a buy that was all in place early on. Uh, likewise, NASDAQ hitting its 50%. That'll be uh, threshold, uh, literally where it's at right now. And that, uh, 1533 range anything above that is definitely going to uh, continue to spark interest and you can see the same magenta spike up and the exact same configurations in fact uh, you have even stronger with the uh, doc green over cyan so all those forces coming together at the same time uh, and of course uh, strong purchasing of uh, treasuries driving the yield down we also had the uh, euro pretty much flat in there. It's going to have a tough time uh, doing much of anything because the eurozone is just a disaster. Um, some of that led to a uh, sell within the um, Bitcoin area simply because uh, it was opportunity and equities for much better gain, and that's where the resources went. That's exactly how that works. If we look at the actually let's look at the 50k first because you can see it. Uh, the MBI bought. Uh, Right along that breakout just above that uh, 73 level, uh, as soon as part closed, it was like, yep, got to have that. And uh, that spiked it up over. And of course, while you're in that magenta, you're still within a pretty decent uh, buy range until you get that turnaround flip. And you can see it hit below one on the MBI white. So uh, you get strong cyan under red. All looking good, actually, from a performance report. Uh, obviously, it's still in that trade. Um, those numbers pretty darn good from alongside. 3.6 profit factor, 58% win rate. Um, currently up in that is this just the 10 contract plus the 10 uh, for secondary interest. And here's what it looked like intraday. Um, started off with that spike, white just completely staying just even the briefest of moments didn't really make any difference because it was just solid uh, cyan underneath and you had doc staying pretty much uh tipping below that negative uh, 13 and the zero range uh, with these huge uh, orange spikes uh, taking place in there so this was just all by you need to get that brief little sell which i'm like you don't really care for that so much when you get that deep uh, DLC still, you can ride it for a couple bars, but as soon as it gets back above 13, you're off to the races, and you can see that correlation right there. Um, and these are the previous algo levels that it just had supported on, and then hit those next for resistance. Again, likewise, similar construct here with the uh, cross of the white net, but with steel so far reset, you were going to get minimum, not to mention just not even wanting to touch that with magenta shakeout well over 25 range. Uh, you had to wait for that to mellow out and it did not because we just kept the slow grind and that's just because there wasn't a whole lot of short because just the buy programs continuing to activate um we did get this spike of uh, the weight that took place uh, middle of the range right there but um, historically couldn't find any situations where when you have that uh, weight spike and you're this far with the uh, steel below uh, 13 uh, where that produces anything but just a few points and um, you know six or seven was about all we were expecting in fact it did a little better than that because uh, that was at 28 and we dipped all the way down to 2075 so just a fraction over eight points, which well within that uh, targeted range uh, within that setup. And I'm sure enough, the buyers just returned, even though that finally restored the uh, steel and everything to normal function range. Uh, every time there was a meeting of the sign and green, uh, green uh, pushed above and shorts just not really activated at all. So this was all just uh, straight up buying uh, within that configuration.
configuration. So very strong and uh, readings look good. That doesn't mean that we won't have a lot of fills because as you can see with all of this, positive extremes through most of the run, even if we go back to uh, the beginning of the day, all of it began even at this previous algo, the 4350, and just filled them all in. So that's just going to be a matter of uh, adding those to uh, the continuation setups. And of course, we have the 39 up above here, nothing stopping you from getting there, and then the 4, 44, 46 range. So um, all in all, pretty clean, super boring, but uh, right in line with uh, what we would look for. As always, though, I will continue to update details on the Skype chat, um, continuing to play around with the dot setups and that. As you can see, what was interesting here is even after we had that deep uh, dip of um, the that that the turnaround with that uh, light green dot, uh, is sort of that uh, turnaround by configuration, uh, and literally was correct because it shot right back up to the 100% range and uh, stayed there. We did have this uh, late white spike, uh, but again, you're going to need to see the uh, yellow, which had to dip back below the 33 and uh, wait moving back up for that to have any effect. And it's possible that it could do that in the after hours, which would be very easy uh, for them to accomplish. But uh, that momentum coming off of uh, that break above the uh, key buy point that uh, 4370 range was uh, significant and caught a lot of interest. So, as always, you can look for me on the Skype chat. Trade well.